Alright, so I'm going to show how to replace the screen on this Toshiba Satellite S55-B5280. So first what you want is a PH1 screwdriver, and you want to remove the two screws right here where the battery is. We're actually going to just remove the battery. I'm not going to show the complete disassembly and how to replace the hard drive or SSD on this model because the customer just needed the screen replaced. So once you remove those two screws, just get into the gap here and then pull the battery out. Okay. Or maybe I should take it. Uh, I guess I'll take it apart and show it. But anyways, after you do that, open this up, press and hold the power button, right? You want to hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds just to, just to drain any internal power so you don't end up shorting anything out. Okay. So I'm going to show what's inside. I started part of the process. That's what, excuse me, that's what this little black dot, I took the little plastic cover off of one of them. But anyways, um, I guess I'll show how to disassemble this whole thing. So just remove all the screws from the bottom. It was already missing some screws. So let me see, are the screws like stuck? Okay, so remove that one. One, two, three, four. Okay. See if I can get all of these out for you. Get a little magnet tool to make this a little bit easier. Okay, four. Then you got five. This one's already missing. Six. That one's already also missing. Seven. That one's already also missing. Eight. Okay. And then you got nine already missing. Ten. Eleven also missing. And twelve. Okay. So you want to remove all twelve screws from the bottom. I'm just going to do a quick showing of what's on the inside because I don't want to completely disassemble this thing. I'm just trying to do this quick. It's late. I have to get up early for an on-site job. But anyways, um, once you get all the screws out, you just want to get into the gap here. So I got my fingernails in there, but you can use like a little pry tool or something. And then just go all the way around. Okay, pry underneath just like this. Lift it up while you're prying. Just like that, go all the way around to the other side, same thing. This model's pretty simple to get open, so I figured why not show it. Okay, just go around, just like that. Okay, the back is the hardest part. Might have to kind of wiggle it around, so I'm kind of pushing the cover out that way while I'm kind of lifting it up, okay? So that helps push it all the way to the back and then lift it up, there you go. So we got the cover off. All right, I'm just gonna do this quick again. There's two screws here. If you wanna replace the fan, it's pretty simple. Um, the connector here, just grab it and you kinda just wiggle it as you pull it, okay? Just like that, it pops out. All right, I'm not gonna take out all the connectors, but I'll just show a few. So a lot of them are very similar. You got these kinds of connectors where you just flip up a little latch like that and then you can pull the connector out. All right, just like this. All right, and then you can put it back in. Um, the wireless card is under here. So if you want to see how to remove the wireless card, there's basically one screw underneath this piece of tape, and then you can pull up the antennas by the tail. If you want to see how to do that, watch some of my older videos. I show how to replace the or remove the wireless cards. Um, it's very, um, all the models are basically the same idea. You got a connector here for the SD card. Okay, same with the cable, trackpad cable. You got an SSD in here, 240 gigs. This one was very likely upgraded. I don't, uh, usually the computers won't come with this. Um, then you got this cable here for the LEDs on the front. And you got this connector for the speaker. So the speaker cable, I believe, runs underneath the motherboard. So they all go through this one cable to here. It comes out just like the fan connector. Got the power button connector here, so if the power button breaks, you can replace that. All right, the USB board and this, it looks like this DC jack broke at one point, so it's glued in place. Okay, and then you got the DC jack connector here. And that's pretty much it. The uh, CPU is soldered to the board. Um, you do got the keyboard connector here. This one, it has these little white tabs that you kind of pull um, downwards, like pull... Um, towards the cable and then you can slide out the cable, but I'm going to leave that in there All right, and then we got the RAM here. You just pull those two tabs to the side like I just did and this is PC 3 4 gigs So 
there's two 4 gig sticks, PC3 12800S. So if you want to upgrade, you can get two 8 gig PC3 12800S. Though, most of the time, um, anything more than 8 gigs, you won't really get much benefit from it. Uh, that thing was dusty, so I just cleaned it up. Okay. And then when you put the RAM back, put it at an angle, make sure you push it in all the way, and then clip this down. Okay, then you got this cable here. I think this is for the webcam. I don't remember if this was, no, I don't think this was touchscreen. But anyways, there's some dirt here. Let me try and get this stuff out. There we go. Okay. All right, and then I'm trying to see where the LCD, there's some broken plastic bits in here. I don't see where, oh, this is the LCD connector or LVDS connector. If you touch this, make sure if you're doing anything with the screen that you drain the power from the computer. Anyways, I'm going to put this back together now. Okay. You saw that. You just snap it back in place. Okay. And then put the screws back in. Okay. Make sure you get the clips back in. All right. There's clips also on the back here. Okay. So I'm just going to put those screws back in. There weren't that many. Most of them were missing, but I'm going to put back what I can. Okay. Tighten that screw back in. Tighten this screw back in. All right. The screws at the hinges are the most important, so make sure you have screws there. If you are missing some, just swap them around and put a new screw in the hinge screw spot. Okay. That and then we'll take this screw and put that one there. Then we'll take the last screw and put it where it was before. Okay, so as far as replacing the screen goes, we're gonna go over that right now. Okay, flip it over, open up the screen slowly. Okay, all right, then you're gonna want a little needle or something very small. Um, you can use like a thumbtack, just like this. There's this little plastic cover here, and what you want to do is just get the needle or the thing and then pop it out just like this, okay? I'm going to stick it here on the palm rest just so I don't lose it, okay? And then there's a screw underneath, so I already took out one, but we're going to have to remove the other one, okay? Let's remove that screw as well. Okay, so do that on both sides, pop out those plastic covers, and then take that out. So this um, hinge, uh, or not the hinge, the bezel is pretty simple to remove. Just lift up from the center and then push the outer part inwards, okay? Just like this. It's kind of hard to see how I'm doing it, but basically you just twist it, the inside upwards, and then you pull towards the center, okay? And that releases the clip mechanisms. You do have to be careful down at the little hinge covers here. I'll show you how to remove those. You do need like a thin tool to kind of pry it apart. It's pretty difficult to get them apart. But um, what you do is after you get this out, you can close the screen, okay? Be careful closing it if you have it sticking out too much. But underneath here, you got the hinge covers. So I just pry under here, okay? You might not be able to do this with fingernails. You might need a pry tool, but as you can see, I can pry that out with my fingernails. Okay, so here, just like that, pry that up. Pull the other one downwards and then pull this back. Be careful not to pry too hard because you don't want to rip it out and then, like, yeah, you'll basically damage it. Okay, so there you go. Basically, this part, it has a little latch that curves into this piece, this piece on the bottom one. Okay, so you kind of have to push this part down and then pull up the one here. Okay, so now that we unclip both of those, open the screen back up. Again, do it slowly. Okay. And then since we got all the clips out, we should be able to take the bezel out just like that. Okay. Then you got four screws holding the screen in place. You just got to remove those four. Okay. So remove the four on the, there's little metal tabs that stick out of the screen. So you want to remove those four. Okay. All right. Two, three. Okay, and the last one, four. Okay, once you get all four screws out, you want to lay the computer back down like this. And then grab the very top of the screen. If you can, I don't think you can even see what I'm doing, but here we go. So grab the top, the middle tabs, pull it forward, 
hold on to it and then slowly lay it down. Okay, just like that. Then you gotta remove the little plastic adhesive here, okay? So this can be a little tough. You just gotta kind of get underneath the plastic and then peel it up. It's basically just an adhesive, okay? Again, make sure you press and hold down the power button after removing the battery to drain any power. Otherwise, you can damage the backlight circuit, okay? Once you get that out, then what I like to do is the metal part that sticks out, you probably can't even see because it's so small. I don't know if I can actually show this. Let me try and zoom in. Um, the model number of your screen might be different. This, The model number is like right here, which is LTN156AT. Um, Let me see here. It's hard to see this. LTN156AT35-T01. Yours might be different, so don't just get the same exact screen. You want to open it and check. I mean, it's easy enough to get inside. And if you can't get inside the first time, then you probably don't want to buy the screen to do it in the first place because if you can't get it out, then there's no point in doing this. But anyways, so you got these two little um, T, like more sharp edged brackets there. And what I do is I use my fingernails or you can use like pry tools or whatever. And then I kind of just wiggle this and pull that back just like this. Okay. Now you just get the replacement screen. This one's broken. So just throw it aside. All right. Okay. Then we'll get the replacement screen, put it back over. So there are different screens Then they have compatible models. So if yours is slightly different, um, don't worry. That's normal. Usually the sellers will just go based on like the resolution and everything and then match it. Okay. So just line up the connector like this. And then once you get it all lined up, you can use the little tape to pull it, or you can use the little T parts to kind of use your fingernails. Um, usually I use that cause it's a lot better to pull it. If you pull the cable, it might just rip out the top. So it's better to, pull on the connector itself than the little adhesive okay and then you can tape that back down flip the screen back up okay all right just like this a lot of times when they ship it they always end up oops sorry i need to zoom back out a lot of times when they ship these they always end up getting these things bent they don't secure them too well so you might have to bend this flat first okay just like that okay get it all lined up put back all four screws and then you want to power it up and make sure it's working properly put back the battery in and then power on the computer and then after that you can peel off this protective film okay so we're gonna put back the four screws here just so we can test it Technically, you only need to put back like two of them just to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. But I'm going to put back all four. Okay. All right. They actually put a thing in here that says remove the screen film before you put in the bezel. But yeah. All right. So anyways, close the screen back. Again, go slowly since you don't have all the screws in. All right. Then we take the battery. We'll put this back in, okay, just like that. I'm gonna put the battery screws back in, all right, just so it doesn't fall out. If I were turning it on, you don't want to accidentally lose power while you're turning on the computer, okay? This way. Let's flip this back over, okay? Flip this back up, we'll press the power button. Make sure, oh, okay, is it working? Is the battery dead? Oh, okay, since the battery was removed, the date and time got reset, it looks like it's working, so I'm gonna peel off the protective film. So since the battery was removed, I guess they use the normal battery as also the BIOS or CMOS battery, because there wasn't one on the computer itself. So here you go, you see it says to enter date and time. Yeah, it's not touch screen, okay. So just go there, starts up the BIOS, and as you can see, the screen looks good. So, all that's left is to put back the bezel. Um, you can reset the date and time again to the correct one. Um, but be, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You just click it and then set the date and time. So I'm not going to show this process, but yeah, just click each one. And then after that, you just save and exit. Okay. So now I'm going to show the bezel. Let's see. 
make sure this cable is tucked in properly. You want it to go where there's like the gap here. Okay, now we just take the bezel, put that back on. All right, I like to snap in the top edges first. So kind of similar, you push towards the top, kind of going like that. That way this middle part can go upwards, like kind of reverse of how you had to pry it up. Okay, so just push those edges back in. All right, and then towards the back, you want to hold from the back. You don't want to just press on it really hard because then you can actually damage the screen or you can use like the table to help keep pressure behind the whole screen. Okay, now we just put these screws back in the bottom corners just like that. Okay, don't forget to put the little plastic covers back on. You don't really need them. They're more just for decoration, but yeah, you don't. Know, most people won't want to just stare at those little silver screws, so grab the little cover, put that back on, okay? Grab the other one. All right, oops, dropped it, and then put that back on as well. All right, there we go. And then you want to snap in the bottom piece. So to do that, you just close the screen, okay? And then these sorry these pieces you just kind of squeeze it together make sure they line up right okay and then you can squeeze them together let's see here come on there we go like that you might have to maneuver them around a little bit but squeeze it and there we go all right so that's all there is to this hopefully this video helped you if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help others find my videos thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye